We can use the code blocks to change the title of a button or do other things. We go to the user details screen and add a new button at the bottom. First, we change its size and set its pin constraints so it is responsive. Then, we go to Styles Inspector and change its background color to blue. We should also update the font to make it bold. Finally, we update the text color of the normal state to white. Optionally we can change the text to followers, but this is not a required step as we are going to update it using code blocks. Let's also put some rounded corners to make it look a bit prettier. Now we need to enable the visible encode property and update its display name. Then we go to code and open the previously created did set user function. We can add as many code blocks as we want to a function. They will be called in the order that we add them. We can use the search to find the set title for normal state block. Then, we add the followers button from the visible in code. Again, we are going to use the user function argument and the red blocks to get the followers array and then the count of the objects. This time though, we need to also have the static word followers and then a space before the number. So we drag the get text from appending first text and second text block. You can use either the search or find it in the text blocks. We also drag a green static text block and write followers with a space character at the end. We need again to convert the int to text so we can append it to the followers text. We will use again the search to find the block. Finally, we need to add an action to the followers to navigate to the list username screen. We can reuse the previously created screen navigation. In general, is nice practice to reuse screen navigation in your screens to reduce maintenance time and cost. This time however, we will pass the followers user property to the username's property of the list username screen. Let's run our app and see what we've done.